We pray for Deacon Edward White to concern her red father. I pray God to move that pain from her. Send that pain to the pits of hell till we will never turn. Then God will lift up Sister Linda, Lord God. They're having a procedure this week. I pray God for her. I pray, Lord God, that you step in there, Lord God. You use the doctors to make things right for her. And Lord God, we thank you for it. And God so the way that we live out there, I ain't no telling what some of us are. Some of them might have been an alcoholic, a drug addict, a prostitute, a homonger, or a devil. Amen? But you're over here now. Thank you, Holy Ghost. And, and if you're not walking, in that walk no more. God had instituted for, for all of us. Because what God did, he created all of us to give him praise. He created the family from the beginning of time to give him praise, to honor him. And that's what he wants families to do, is to honor him. That was this covering that he wore on him that was part, actually, it wasn't actually the garment, it was the anointing that was on the garment. And so Elijah, when they got to Jordan, he pulled the mantle off, mm -hmm. rolled it up, took the mantle, and struck the Jordan River. Pray, Father, in the name of Jesus. I come now, Lord, thanking you for who he is. I thank you, Lord God, for another wonderful, beautiful day. And I thank you for this time of celebration of the Resurrection Sunday. And Lord God, we realize and understand that people be resurrected every day. Somebody being saved from sin. Mm, mm, mm. Being resurrected from the old life to a new life. And Father, we thank you. Even a man that was blind from his birth. Jesus spilled in the ground, made clay out of spirit and pulled it out and told him to go wash. Now the man can't see, now and Jesus told him to go wash. In the pool of Salon, now how you gonna get there? He can't see. The only way he got his sight was by obedience and faith because he went. I read it all day, but you always see all these stories about kids being kidnapped or people being killed in car accidents and somebody decided today I'm gonna be a murderer. I'm gonna kill this person. And they're being selfish because you not only hurt that person, you hurt your family too, you know? But I just thank God because he's a keeper, he's a protector. Y'all, I believe in Psalms 91. Hello, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high, my God, shall abide under the shadow of the almighty. Can I get an amen, church? Amen. But my scripture this morning is coming from Psalms 100. So let's celebrate Jesus this morning. <laughs> Psalms 100. I just want him to slow me down because I want us to understand that it's in our celebration to God that he worked things out on our behalf. Amen. Hallelujah. There's nothing we can do with some of our problems that come up on us, but if we put in God's hand, if we lay it in his hand, and my hands are small, but his hands can carry all of us at the same time. is to work on ourselves daily. Sanctify all the way through. Everything about you needs to be sanctified. Well, sanctify me, Dr. Fault, I'm glad you asked me. Sanctify me, set you apart. He set you apart. I call that big long word called sanctification. And that big long word, sanctification, is a process are constantly working on you. Amen? See, one thing about it, 
while you're sitting in there, he's not gonna force you to do nothing. I lay awake at night. But that's all right. That's all right. Jesus will fix us. Jesus, he will fix it. in love. When you dwell in love, God dwells in you. Because he's love. <laughs> Glory to God. See, ain't no try, don't, don't even try to figure out how God loves you like that. Don't figure out, just let him love on you. He was looking. He saw Thomas. He won't Thomas know where he was at that time. He won't Thomas know that he was a doubter. God, when you are a doubter with Christ, you got the wrong in the wrong place. Thomas, come here. God had to come down in his son, Jesus, hallelujah, to be that sacrifice for us. Jesus died for us, you all. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. That we may have a right to this family, to the family of God. Persecuted, not abandoned, criticized, not forsaken, because God's a promise keeper. I shall live and not die, because Jehovah's by my side. Did I tell you he's a friend of mine? Lift him up. So our God. The angels, he already put place things in them what to do. Hey.